Message is on letters and got this week and stuff. What's going on everyone? It's George and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a monthly favorites. My monthly favorites. So I don't really have too many favorites that I'm gonna be speaking about in this video. This is actually my first time doing a monthly favorites. Uh, I've watched them for many years now and I think they're pretty fun. Everybody has their own opinion and um, interests in different things, so I thought it'd be pretty cool to share with you guys some of my favorites for the month of July. So if you're interested in seeing what my monthly favorites are for the month of July, then keep watching this video. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And leave your comments down below if you have any recommendations or have any questions about any of the products I'm about to show you in this video. But let's go ahead and check out my monthly favorites for July. So we're going to start off the monthly favorites with beauty products. The first one I'm going to show you guys is Basia. It's a black illuminizing face mask. And honestly, this I've used for the past month and it's pretty sick. Um, simply, it's just one of those masks that are quoted to um, clear up your clarity in your skin, minimize your pores. It's uh, charcoal based as well. And you've probably seen this in a lot of like videos on Instagram and whatnot, but it's one of those like pure black masks so you just like peel off. It's pretty cool. Um, this right here is what I got at Ulta. It comes with the uh, the mask itself, and also there's this right here, which uh, it's it's a revitalizing black hydration gel. You use this after you're done with the mask and you like wash your face. But this has been pretty cool. I a little bit late on the bandwagon with the whole black mask deal, but I'm a fan. I like it. The next beauty product I'm going to mention is. The Beard Stuff by Woody's. Now, this is basically like a beard grooming kit. Um, I got this at a local store called Cosmoprov, and this comes with like a beard scrub, like a shampoo, a beard conditioner, and overall my favorite product that comes out of this would have to be the beard oil itself. Now the oil is um, very thick in consistency, and it's not just like a beard oil, it's also a tattoo oil. I have a couple tattoos, especially during the summer. You want to keep those hydrated and protected if you are exposed to the sun, of course. And um, it has like a little squeeze tip at the top. This one right here actually um, does leave my skin pretty hydrated. And um, I tend to get like a little bit drier on like my cheeks where my beard is. So this has helped like majorly. The next part I'm going to talk about is a pre-workout. This is Lit by Beyond Raw. I got this at my local GNC with the flavor of gummy bear. Now I tasted so many different types of pre-workouts from like blue raspberry, fruit punch, strawberry, you know, the basics, but this one is actually delicious. Beyond Raw is a pretty great company. I do get protein from them. And also uh, I did try out another one of their pre-workouts before in the past, which is pretty decent, but this one is natural and artificially flavored, um, 250 milligrams of caffeine, which is probably why I get a, um, a decent workout. So for the month of July, I travel quite a bit. And when I travel, I try not to overpack or bring too many things. I usually fail to doing that. For those of you that know me, know that I usually extremely overpack. But for day trips, it's pretty cool to have um, just like simple luggage and whatnot to carry your stuff in. So what I was able to find was this right here. This is by Tommy Hilfiger and it is a portable backpack. So, if you are traveling and you need some extra space, what you do is just unzip the front, and basically, this right here turns into a backpack. Yeah. How sick is that, right? So I typically put this in my backpack, so if I need extra storage, if I like buy stuff while traveling, got this with me, and it works pretty well this month, so that's why it's a favorite. Also, it's a pretty cool bag, not gonna lie. As I mentioned, this past month I traveled quite a bit. I did visit Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and I did a bit of shopping in a town called Chatham. And there I came across a Jack Wills store, and their setup was pretty sick. They had like a Jeep on the outside that said Jack Wills on it. Their store was very beachy and like nautical themed, but uh, I picked up a few things from their store. Um, one being a hat you see in my last video, which is this Wills uh, dad cap. It's pretty cool, simple, black, and also I was able to pick up a shirt. Um, basically my souvenir that I got while traveling up the Cape. Simple, Jack Wills shirt. It says, Jack Wills. 
chat them on the back. So, <laughs> very simple shirt. Cool store if you're ever in the area, definitely check it out. People that work there were pretty cool, I must say. But yeah, it's, it's one of my favorites. Okay, so next, I'm not one of those guys that wears like flip flops or slides all the time, but lounging around the house, and especially in the summer out by the pool, I like to wear uh, slides. So I invested in a nice pair of slides for myself. Oh, they're backwards. <laughs> but I invested in a nice pair of slides for myself. These are uh, Versace slides here. They're rubber, but they are extremely comfortable, and I feel like they're very simple, and number one, comfortable. So these are one of my favorites because I got a lot of use out of them this past month, also the month of June, and uh, you don't need to go spend $100 on, uh, on slides, but me, um, they were investment because I really wanted them. <laughs> well, on the topic of shoes, my next favorite is a pair of Shoes that I got by Tommy Hilfiger, and these shoes here, I picked up at my local DSW, but when I seen these, I was like, oh my god, these are sick. They are kind of like a, a cloth material up here, and they remind me of like the Gucci shoes i seen in a lot of uh, editorials. So, I found these pretty, um, they're very comfortable, I have a lot of pictures of these on my Instagram, um, which you guys can check out. The link's going to be in my description below. But these are a favorite because I get a lot of use out of them. They're comfortable and they're pretty. I think these are really cool looking shoes. Tommy Hilfiger has been like one of my favorite designers for the past couple months. I grew up wearing Tommy Hilfiger and now that his stuff has become trendy once again, I don't know, but I kind of can't get enough of it. So I mentioned before this video is full of like random favorites. Um, my next favorite is a lunchbox. I picked this Adidas lunchbox up uh, from a TJ Maxx and this is so cool, isn't it? It looks like a miniature backpack, but I mean there's no, you don't wear it, it's just, it's a, a lunchbox. So I bring this to work, um, it has like a, I don't know if you call it like a thermal inside, but one of those that keeps like a temperature, temperature controlled and yeah, I think it's pretty sick. And um, not gonna lie, I think this is from like the kids section of TJ Maxx where I've seen this. So um, yeah, I'm not bothered, whatever. So while traveling, I did do a little bit of reading and I read this book here probably for my, my third time. But honestly, it's a really tiny book. Um, the like, letters in the book are not even big. It's an easy read, but every time I read this book, I find myself um, having like a, a clear thought process and um, feeling more positive. I don't know, I feel like this book is extremely, you know, inspiring. I got this at a Barnes & Noble. It's actually a fairly cheap book, but I think this is good for almost anybody just to have um, if they're interested in reading something, you know, to feel a little bit more in touch with their, their positive side. Another book that I got, this is like a children's book, but it's um, a book on the Titanic, an interactive history adventure. So I actually got this from a flea market a couple um, days ago, and it has like the most cool pictures in it from the Titanic, and I know um, you're probably thinking, what the f seriously? But I am obsessed with the Titanic, and I've always been, um, not just about the whole disaster portion, but the architecture, the history, the art in general, and um, this is like a kid's version of the book, but there's some pictures in here that I've never seen, such as like a picture of the uh, reading and writing room in the Titanic, which I didn't even know it had that. So, love this book. I don't know if this is like still for sale, but yeah. So I didn't have too many favorites for the month of July. Um, if you like this video, you know, give this a thumbs up, of course, and let me know if you want to see any more videos like this. Uh, I do want to make sure that I mention that in my previous video where I had a water tasting, I actually, my, my camera battery died mid-filming, and I thought that I filmed one of the waters I tasted, which is life water, and yeah, it, it ended up not being on my memory, so I guess um, it died while I was filming that. Too late, the video's already out, so check that out, I'll have the link down below as well. Um, but life water, I figured we'd do a little bit of a review on that right now. I've been drinking it, seeing hydrated making this video, but... It's a great water. It's um, it's rejuvenating, in fact. But now the cool thing about this water that I want to make sure that I mention is the artwork on this is pretty sick. Um, Life Water actually partners and sponsors different artists to design the artwork on the bottle. 
and I hope you guys can actually make all the over because I know the, the lighting kind of reflects off the bottle. All right, you guys, so that is it for my July monthly favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm going to leave the description for these products in the description down below. So if you have any comments as well or want more details about these products, like I said, leave me a comment. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.